Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to print out the keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. As you probably know, everything you want to do in Reaper involves actions. So you can go to the Actions menu right here, Show Action List, and here's where we can see all those actions. But if you notice, a bunch of them have keyboard shortcuts assigned to them. And we can change them at any point. Just choose them, go down here, and add a keystroke to trigger that action. But to make it easier to remember them, you might want to print them out. But first, if you want to see them all in a row, the ones that are assigned with keyboard shortcuts, just go right here to the column, and we could view it based on those shortcuts. From tab, shift tab, and so on, every keystroke assigned to an action shows up here in order. But again, we might want to print these, and we can't print them from this dialog. So let's close this. Let's go to the menu under Help, and we'll choose the option over here, Key Bindings and Mouse Modifiers. And if we choose that, it's going to open your browser with the keyboard shortcut list. And it starts off with mouse modifiers. So these are the actions that are going to be performed when you hold down these modifiers, along with your mouse, for zooming, for scrolling, for our media items, for dragging them, for double clicking them, and so on. But I'm not going to print these out. I'm just going to focus on the ones down here. Section main. So I'm going to select the text like this and drag down to the end of it over here. Now there's another section for Media Explorer, for the Media Editor. I'm not going to worry about that, although you could copy and paste this separately. But I just really want this section here, which has all the main keystrokes or keyboard shortcuts we're going to need. So now I'll copy this and go to my favorite word processor. I'm using Google Docs and just paste it. And all those keyboard shortcuts show up ready to be printed. Let's go to the top and we can see them all right here. And I believe there's 11 pages in all, at least the section that we copied from. Again, you might want to separate the MIDI ones or some of the other more focused ones. But these are the main ones. So all you have to do in your word processor is print them out and put them next to your computer so eventually we could learn them all. But I want to show you one other thing. Let's go back to Reaper. If you're ever not sure what a keystroke does, just go back to the action list and go right here to find shortcut. It opens this up. Just type a keystroke like V and it'll go right to that action. By typing V, it's going to toggle the track volume for any selected tracks. So if I select this track, hit V, we can see the volume envelope for that track. Let's type P, and right down here, it's going to open up the pan envelope. So if I type P, here's the pan envelope for this track. And it toggles it. So we can hit it again, and it closes it back up. So this is a great way of figuring out what our current keystrokes are doing. But it's a good idea to print them out just to see what's available to you. And keep in mind, there's a lot more than the ones that currently have keyboard shortcuts, like these. And if we add our own or create our own custom actions with their keyboard shortcuts, they're still going to print out when we choose them right here. They're still going to show up in this list. So we could print them out at any point. So that's pretty much it. That's printing keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.